How to get along with anybody. Let's talk about it. Life is precious, so let's cherish it. Viv here from Vivi's Views, where we believe entrepreneurship is the best path to financial freedom. On this channel, we talk about life and we teach you how to transition from the corporate world into the entrepreneurial lifestyle. We upload videos daily. So if you want to be a part of what's happening here, subscribe and hit the bell notification. And let's get on to the video. How to get along with anybody. Three pointers. Be yourself at all times. What do I mean by be yourself? The world is full of an ocean of faces. And when we are in professional environments, we bring our best representative. So most times at work or in professional arenas, you can get along with everybody or anybody because everybody brings their best. So in order for you to get along with anybody, all you have to do is bring your best and keep on smiling. You greet, you meet, you make what is called small talk. Second point, when we get into small quarters and the area is vast, people tend to smile and do what is well, what is professional. But when we get into small quarters and we're in small offices and cubicles, our personalities tend to come out because we're comfortable. And so you might find that someone to your left or someone to your right has the tendency to get under your skin. They have become comfortable. So now they're bringing out the cloven hoofs, if you will. What do you do with someone like that? You still keep it friendly because you are still in a professional environment. So continue to smile. We can uh, tolerate any stranger because there are many things at play. Oh, sometimes I wish I could tell that one off or I wish I could tell that one on my, my, my right to mind his own business. However, we don't behave like this on the job and you keep it professional and you keep going. You keep smiling, you keep making friendly little banters. As long as no one disrespects you, morning and good afternoon is God's allowance to man. Last point. Sometimes people have the tendency to raise a certain emotion in you that it takes everything within you to resist the urge to let your true representative out. You might find yourself in a board meeting and someone gets so gets under your skin so bad that you just want to lash out because you've had enough. Just know that sometimes, sometimes that is allowed. Sometimes people open their mouths and your skin just starts to crawl. The blood in you starts to boil. And you know, you have to make a decision as to whether you're going to put that person on blast or if you're going to bite your tongue and you use avoidance. Avoidance sometimes is the best way for us to go. And I want you to know that the world is full of people and we are interacting every day at different times, in different environments, on the bus, on the subway, in our cars, around the job. It's always happening. And what we have to realize that if we want to be entrepreneurs, we're going to meet all kinds of people. It does not matter if people bring their representatives or not. It does not matter if people act unprofessional or not. You have to remember that people have the tendency to remember the bad things we do and they don't remember the good. So they don't remember the good. So as you journey towards becoming an entrepreneur, you always have to be circumspectual. You need to leave all your garbage in your house. If you feel to yell and you feel to punch something or you feel to say somebody sucks, 
Those are not things that you're going to say openly because you don't know who is watching you, who could ask you to do a project, who could bring a lot of money into your ballpark. So no matter if the other person breaks the professional code of conduct, you hold. Hold your ground and remember that there is something bigger at play for you. You are on your way to being an entrepreneur. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, and make some comments. It's been a pleasure talking to you. How to get along with anybody. It is possible. Remember, professionalism because you are on your way to becoming an entrepreneur and they connect. It's been a pleasure talking to you.